pride. That's the essence of football in Houston. Call it an obsession or maybe a religion. But show me a Houstonian without football pride, and I'll pick up a mirror and show you a liar. Football began here back in the 1890s, and by 1920, the Houston team claimed the first state title. Ever since, high school heroes have chased gridiron glory, but none loomed larger than Kenneth Hall for Sugarland Express. In a single game in 1953, Hall returned a punt 82 yards, a kickoff 64, and rushed for 520 yards on 11 carries. He's still the state's all-time leading rusher after 63 years. Jump to 1964 when my Houston Cougars signed running back Warren McVay, the first African-American to break the NCAA color line in Texas. With wondrous Warren, Houston led the nation in offense three years running. I played linebacker for the 68 team, and we were the last major college squad to score 100 points in a game against Tulsa. I eventually learned they had a linebacker named Phil McGraw out there that day. That's right, Dr. Phil. Sorry, Doc. Maybe no team inspired Houston like the Love You Blue Oilers of the 1970s, coached by me and my dad, Bum Phillips. Led by the incomparable Earl Campbell, we lost a heartbreaker in the 79 AFC Championship when Mike Renfro's go-ahead TD was inexplicably called out of bounds. It hurt, but I'll never forget how thousands lined the streets to cheer the team when we returned home. Despite that love, the Oilers packed up and left after the 96 season. The city was heartbroken. But not for long, the NFL was reborn when the Texans arrived in 2002. They became only the second expansion team in NFL history to earn a W in their first game against the rival Cowboys. Football is Texas, Texas is football. With so many memorable moments in Houston, it's no wonder the city's love affair with the game is a winning one.